The Solar System from Us Born Beginners by Emily Bone, designed by Helen Edmonds and Will Dawes, illustrated by Terry Pastor and Tim Haggerty, Solar System Consultant Stuart Atkinson, Reading Consultant Allison Kelly. In Space The Earth is a planet. It's a huge, round lump of rock floating in space. The Earth is one of eight planets that travel around the Sun. The sun and the planets are called the solar system. This is what the Earth looks like from space. What's out there? The planets in the solar system move around the sun. Pieces of rock, called asteroids, travel around the sun too. The planets are shown close together on these pages. Really, they are very, very far apart. As well as planets, there are lots of other things that move around the sun, from specks of dust to dwarf planets, such as Pluto. How it started. Scientists think that the solar system formed millions and millions of years ago. It began as a huge cloud of gas and dust in space, like this one. The swirling cloud of gas and dust slowly got thicker and thicker. Parts of the cloud heated up, making a hot ball of gas. This became the sun. Over millions of years, the gas and dust spun around the sun. Gradually, the dust and gas joined together to make the planets. In the middle, the sun is a massive ball of burning gas called a star. It gives the planets all their light and heat. The sun looks so big because it is closer to the earth than other stars. This is what its surface looks like close up. Jets of hot gas shoot out and fall back in long loops. Some parts of the sun are not as hot as the rest. These are called sunspots. Huge explosions are known as solar flares. Never look directly at the sun. Its light is so strong it could damage your eyes. Moving planets. Each planet travels along its own path, or orbit, around the sun. They take different lengths of time to move all the way around. Earth takes 365 days and nights to orbit the sun. This is one year. As the planets travel, they also spin around. When each planet spins, different parts have day or night. Light from the sun only shines on one side of the earth at any time. This part is dark because the sun's light cannot reach it. This is night. The parts facing the sun are lit up. This is the planet's day. Mercury. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. Its rocky surface is covered in holes called craters. Most of them were made by rocks crashing into the planet from space. Fast-moving fast -moving rocks hit plant Mercury's surface, making deep holes. Lots of pieces of rock and dust flew up around the holes. The rock and dust settled in thick layers around the craters. In this photo, you can see lots of round craters on Mercury's surface. The surface of Mercury is more than four times hotter than boiling water. Hot planet. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. It is so hot because it is covered in a thick layer of clouds. This is the surface of Venus. The thick clouds make the sky look orange. The surface of the planet is hard rock. The sun's rays pass through the clouds and the planet's surface warms up. The clouds stop the heat from escaping so the planet gets hotter and hotter. Venus is so hot, its surface glows in the dark. Living Earth. The Earth is made of rock and is surrounded by water and gases. It is the only planet where life is known to exist. In this photo, you can see big lakes and high rocky mountains on Earth's surface. The Earth has the right mixture of air, heat, and water for things to live. A layer of gases around Earth gives living things the air they need to breathe. The sun warms the planet. Plants grow in sunlight, making food for animals. More than half of the earth is covered in water. Everything needs water to live. Bright at night. The moon is a big round lump of rock that moves around the earth. It is the brightest thing you can see in the night sky. There are millions of craters on the moon. In this photo, the biggest craters look like dark patches. As the moon moves, the sun lights up different parts of its surface. This is why the moon seems to change shape. 
When the side facing Earth is lit up, you can see the moon as a bright circle. Sometimes you can only see part of the side that is lit by the sun. When the sun shines behind the moon, you can't see the bright side, so it looks dark. In 1969, astronauts landed on the moon in a spacecraft. The Red Planet Mars is a cold and rocky planet. Its surface is covered in red dust. Scientists have sent vehicles called rovers to Mars to take photos of the surface. A rover was packed inside a spacecraft and flown from Earth to Mars. Airbags protected the spacecraft as it landed on the planet's surface. The spacecraft opened up and scientists sent signals to drive the rover out. The rover drove around, sending information back to scientists on Earth. This is a photo of Mars's surface taken by a rover. Dust storms on Mars can last for months. Gas giant. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It is a huge round mass made mostly from gases. The stripes you can see here are bands of different gases. Jupiter has over 60 moons moving around it. All the moons are made of rock and ice. Thebe is not round like most moons. Its surface is covered in huge craters. The rocky surface of Europa is completely covered in a layer of ice. Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than Mercury. There is a huge storm on Jupiter that has been raging for thousands of years. Ringed planet. Saturn is a huge planet made mostly of gases. It has millions of pieces of rock and ice moving around it. From far away, these look like solid rings. This photo was taken from a spacecraft that scientists sent to fly around Saturn. In 1997, a rocket took off from Earth. It was controlled by computers. When the rocket was far above the Earth, a probe flew away from it. The probe reached Saturn and started to fly around and around the planet. It sent close-up pictures of Saturn and its rings back to Earth. Distant planets. Uranus and Neptune are huge gas planets. This is Uranus. It has faint rings around it made from millions of specks of dust. Uranus spins differently from the other planets. It looks as if it has been knocked on its side. Neptune is a very cold and stormy planet. This dark blue swirl is a storm raging on the planet. Beyond Neptune, there's a dwarf planet called Pluto. Experts used to think it was a planet, but they've changed their minds. Exploring the sky. Scientists find out about the solar system by using huge telescopes that let them see things that are very far away. The telescopes shown here are in Hawaii, USA. They, are, they use big, curved mirrors to make things that are far away look a lot bigger. These are some of the telescopes that travel around the Earth in space. Scientists on Earth sent send signals to point the telescope at a planet. The telescope takes pictures of the planet and stores them in a computer. The computer sends the pictures as signals to huge radio dishes on Earth. The information is sent to computers that turn them into pictures of the planet. Glossary. Here are some of the words in this book you might not know. This page tells you what they mean. Planet. A huge mass of rock or gas in space that moves around the sun. Asteroid. A lump of rock that moves around the sun. Orbit. The path of something as it goes around something else. Crater. A round hole on a planet or moon made by a rock crashing into it. Rover. A computer-controlled vehicle that drives across a planet. Probe. A computer-controlled spacecraft sent to explore space. Telescope. Something that makes things that are far away look bigger. That was The Solar System from Usborne Beginners by Emily Bone.